Hey Aries, this is Soul here. And Aries, this is your bi-weekly uh, messages you're reading for the next two weeks, beginning October 22nd and ending November 4th, 2018. The messages are for Aries, Sun, Moon, and rising signs as well. Okay, Aries, I hope all is well. Let's get right into your uh, your messages here. And <clears throat> Just so you know, the uh, chair, the white chair, shows up again. Uh, is, this is the third time this is, uh, has shown up here uh, because I re didn't remove it from the prior two weeks. Uh, there's a black chair and a white chair as extra cards in this deck. Um, so still trying to get a feel, <clears throat> you know, intuitively what these could represent but the white chair could be positive energy if you wanted to accept that and then there's this uh calendar uh with the number uh seven and also uh 1927 i don't know if you can see that so seven that might be significant for someone uh, but i'm just leaving it here but i pulled a clarifier for that card uh, like I did in the previous uh, videos when it showed up. And for you, I ch had chosen the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is in the upright position. So this is, of course, about choices and making sure that you uh, are picking uh, the right choice based on, you know, many, many options that may be presented to you. This is a card also to of illusion. So don't get yourself caught up in any types of illusions in the next two week period of time related to any area this is a general reading so it could you know be expressed in all areas this particular deck here it could be that you know she's the bride and he's the the groom and you know they may have just had a good time because there's wine uh on the, the wine bottle on the floor with two glasses So it's about choices and not getting caught up in any types of illusion. Because what she has, what you, I don't feel that you can clearly see is that she's has you know like the veil over her her you know she's putting the veil over her eyes. So that's the illusion part of this card. All right. Anyway, you have the tower, unfortunately, Aries, <laughs> and it's in the upright position. So I do shuffle these cards very well in between. Uh, you know the signs and whatnot. you have the world card and the world card is a major arcana but that's in the reverse as well so your focus might be on something or someone else and there's an opportunity uh, that might uh, pass you by so it might be in relationship to energy of the tower also to the uh, world card is in the reverse as your overall leading energy for someone who may have had uh, gained an opportunity and whatever that opportunity was for you that opportunity could have been a new job a uh, change of career could have been a new relationship or it could have been something you know uh, less than that but it was an you know possibly an opportunity or opportunities that was presented to you and you took advantage of it okay that's the completion in the reverse for those aries in the previous two weeks what's coming up next after that world card in the reverse oh is the death card death card is in the reverse so that's a completion of having to let go of something old that no longer resonated with you or for you and then you know if you were able to release or let go of something let me see what this Okay, it's over top of this chair. I don't know if that was getting rid of some damn furniture that was old and wasn't serving in its, you know, its purpose anymore. I don't know. It could be almost anything. So the death card here represents Scorpio. And I'm just showing you this card uh, in the upright position. It's like the woman that's laying in bed and she's on her deathbed. And I guess he could be... The gentleman could be someone, you know, like the angel of death. And he's like taking her out of her misery or, you know, um, could be just, you know, the, the, the death car. I mean, a death guy, you know, just taking her. Wow. I'm just sitting up here looking at this energy. 
So giving up something, um, letting go of something, whatever that is or was for you, Aries, that could be a completion. For the other, since it's in the um, reverse position and still part of your energy for the next two weeks, there's something that someone that I'm reading for that still is hanging on to something they need to let go of that's no longer resonating um, with you. If you're able to let it go, whatever that is, then the death card will bring something new. It's like a transformation. But as long as you're holding on to something, then it's always going to feel like, you know, um, because I never pick up, you know, a physical death with this death card when it shows up. But it's going to feel like that, that there's going to be some type of uh, stagnation of energy. Something to that effect. Now, I feel that the uh, a lot of I'm getting hit here with somebody's work. OK, I hope because the the tower card is here. You know, this is upheaval and destruction. All things are possible, including, um, you know, on the world stage, weather. All those things that I mentioned uh, previously in the two weeks, I don't know if it was you, Aries, or if it was Sagittarius, but I know that the tower was here. For either your sign and then the chariot and it mirrored the tower I have to look back at the video but somebody can throw in a comment and I said that there was some sort of destruction someone trying to plow into a building or uh, but there was devastation there was uh, casualties and it was the next day that I saw where it was the limousine driver up in New York I believe and all 20 people in that car perished and that is the tower's energy. So on the world stage, all things are possible, you know, and also, too, it was Hurricane Michael that, you know, came through and devastated a part of Florida and there was casualties there. So whenever this tower shows up, it, it's, it's, you know, it may not be something that personally impacts you or affects you, but it's it, it's some type of energy. That I almost always pick up that includes the world stage, which includes our politics, international, United States politics, always some shit with this tower. Now, because the tower is sitting underneath the six of pentacles where previously this card has shown up and it was in the upright and i said it's a number six so it offers some type of balance maybe the tower um on the world stage could relate to our dow taking a hit taking a fall stocks plummeting Something to do with a financial loss here. This also, too, coming off the world stage and reflecting it back to you, Aries, that I had was, you know, picking up that the world card being that there's a focus on something or someone else and there's an opportunity that may uh, come your way, but your attention is elsewhere. Now I'm getting that um, someone could be dealing with uh, possibly a loss of a job here. Or there's a either a loss of a job or downsizing where they work. This could also represent layoffs. Just this combination here alone. Tower and the Six of Pentacles. See, because the Six of Pentacles in the upright and contrast Aries is about an offering, generosity, you know, things being balanced, and ex even exchange of energy. That's the number six. When it's in the reverse, it's imbalanced or unbalanced. And then it's over top of the tower, which represents any structure, you know, building or entity or anything like that. And then I'm getting that uh, this could be massive layoffs on the world stage from a company. Now, because we're dealing with, um, you know, all of these imposed tariffs, that could be what I'm seeing. That there's a major company or two during this two-week period of time that has massive layoffs. Okay, so it may not be something 
that you know is a it may be something that affects you Aries but I'm feeling a loss here someone has taken a, a hit or a, a serious financial loss and just keep in mind those things that I have mentioned you know uh, uh, the Dow plummeting possibly or a company a very reputable company uh, having some sort of major massive layoffs that does impact or affect the economy then I'm feeling that the um, energy next to that uh, six of pentacles it, again is the seven of pentacles but it's in the upright position so this particular see this is a, if you look at the guy <laughs> this is what I'm picking up if you look at the guy and it's representing the seven of pentacles normally this is options for me but and the guys who are in white could be someone in the military so I don't know if there's something going on with our military or another you know uh, country's military but the guy in the green because all the other guys are in white this is somebody who comes in he has something in his hand and it's like he's delivering some sort of news now because of the <clears throat> the faces or the looks of the guys who are in the white it's not they're not happy so someone is and i feel because it's the pentacles it's about some sort of financial loss oh let's see what happens though okay and then of course the four of cups is underneath that okay this is a, a the, you know the person's emotions these are your emotions the four of cups someone sitting here and they don't look very very happy here and it looks like if you can see that there's someone here laying down but it's not an actual person it's a drawing of someone or a painting and this guy may be sitting here looking at the painting and like decides that he doesn't like it so he's not happy about it okay four of cups regularly still stands for a social card for me <clears throat> all right cups represent cancer scorpio pisces male or female pentacles represent taurus capricorn virgo male or female if there are any exchanges with those energies But this Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and this is the person here that's, you know, giving some sort of news that's not too pleasing to the gentleman in white. Then the emotions of Four of Cups underneath. So let's take away from the world stage and then direct that towards something that may be happening with you, Aries. If it's relation. If it's in relationship to uh, your job, if it's in relation uh, to some sort of uh, financial financial situation, and see because the tower's here. So just these four cards alone is giving me a volume of information, but because of time constraints, I'm not going to sit here and, and depict and decipher all the things that could be potentially uh, what's occurring, either on the world stage or directly with you. There is something here or something is about to come up. And... It's not good. <laughs> that's all I'm saying is not good especially and then the world card could represent things happening in the world and it's in the reverse so let's just see what happens stay positive Aries always stay positive in spite of the messages and you know the death card is here it's in reverse so that could mean you know so many things Scorpio represents the death card. Also, Cancer, Pisces, male or female energies. Yeah, okay. <gasps> mm. 
The final card here in this reading is the eight of eight of swords, and that's showing up in the reverse. Conflict coming to an end. Some form of conflict. The Eight of Swords represents uh, normally, just to show you in the upright position, Aries. Fear. It could also represent escapism for me. Not getting a good night's sleep. Anxiety, stress, worry. Over things that are... Uh, Real or not real. Feeling, you know, restricted. Feeling bound to a person, situation, event. But it's in the reverse. So that means that whatever could be taking place, it's dealt with, okay? And then it's um, resuming, getting your sleep back. Uh, worries come to uh, not a complete end, but decrease of those things. Mental agility, mental conflict, possibly with others. Feeling trapped. Feelings of being trapped, isolated, stuck. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so we have this. We have two sevens here. Seven of Cups. And then we have this tower card. Whenever the tower shows up, I always look for the for the link that could uh, possibly uh, be the energies that unfold, and that's what I gotten. Uh, you know, with the six of pentacles, finances. So all of those things. I'm not going to repeat it again, Aries. So let's just hope and pray. I always say that when the tower shows up and I always emphasize safety for you guys. So wherever you are, uh, you know, be vigilant, but not paranoid. Just be safe. OK, just be safe. So anyway, that's your reading. So let's just uh, see what happens. I appreciate the comments when they come through. I really do. I read them uh, anyway. I may not always respond to them, but I do read them for the single Aries. Uh, from the Rebel deck, I have selected for you, uh, don't fucking force it. And on the back, it says, allow that shit to come to you. All right. And for the uh, Aries couples, and of course, these are just messages, even though they're single couples. It's for anyone who needs to hear the message. Uh, it says here, family shit is getting on your nerves. And on the back, it says, um, have each other's back. OK, so let's see what the uh, next two weeks unfolds for uh, you, Aries. Um, but the death card, the tower and the pentacles in the reverse. All right. All right. Be safe. Sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again, Aries. Take care. Bye.